Hey guys, welcome back. So in this video, I want to give you guys some tips about how to do Hydra Rotation 4. All right. So um, this is a brand new location. Actually, I was thinking about if I should make this video or not because um, I feel like the raid community right now just absolutely hates Hydra because um, I think a couple of days ago, middle of the week, I saw a post on Reddit. It's kind of like a Hydra rant and everybody agrees like how terrible Hydra is, like how people hate Hydra, right? Um, I hate Hydra too. I do it because it just gives the the gear set I really need for arena push. But I mean, maybe there are still people that care about Hydra, so I still decide to make this video, all right? This is gonna be me giving you guys some tips about how to do rotation four. Actually, for the Hydra Rotation 4, there's only one difference compared to Rotation 3, which is previous uh, rotation. That is, uh, Head of Suffering is being replaced by Head of Mischief. Head of Suffering was super, super tanky, and uh, Head of Mischief is basically the head that can steal your buffs and spread it. Super annoying, right? Uh, but if you have the correct team setup, you should be able to do more damage in shorter time because Head of Suffering just have way too high HP or defense. And uh, for this rotation, I have spent two keys already. Uh, I I was able to manage one key uh, Nightmare and one key Brutal. Pretty much same team setup. Um, I know it's a little pay to win team setup, but I think you can pretty much use the same team setup as our uh, last rotation. But you have to do some gear adjustment. All right, so. Yeah, if I have to make a Hydra tier list, Duchess is just number one, all right? Duchess is just way too broken in Hydra. And uh, also Krisk, right? Krisk is gonna be a huge help. And you guys can see that with six champions, the team power here is super high. That is because I did a lot of gear adjustments. Uh, let me quickly show you guys the damage they do first, then I'll show you guys the gear. And then I'll show you guys the clip of me doing the Hydra. So, um, for, uh, for the damage, Royal Guard is obviously the most uh, is the best damage dealer in Hydra, and then Geomancer, super good, and uh, Duchess has no damage. That's fine for Brutal Comp. I think the only difference is um, I use a Cfi because I only have one Duchess. Cfi is still very good, but um, Duchess is just so much better compared to Cfi. All right. And uh, recent, uh, I think yesterday I just got my second two hundred rack, like two hundred rack in this rotation. It's amazing, it's absolutely amazing. And I was thinking about if I should empower my 200 rack or not. And I decided not to, and I fully maxed 200 rack out. Like this champion is so good in Hydra. So the comp is look, looks the same. Anyways, let me show you guys the gear of these champions. So I think the only difference when you are gearing champion for this rotation is you have to stack resistance on a lot of your champions because last rotation you don't really need resistance okay so let me show you guys a graph real quick so here it is can you guys see it here all right now uh this graph is very straightforward so uh, as you guys can see this <clears throat> this is a um, resistance here and this is accuracy here so um nightmare has 350 resistance Sorry, 350 accuracy and Brutal has 345 accuracy. I'm actually surprised that uh, Brutal and Nightmare Hydra only has like 5 accuracy difference. So if you want to resist their debuff, uh, their debuff, you need to stack to 500 resistance for both Brutal and Nightmare. But for hard, uh, I think you can go for like um, 400 or like I would say 420 to 450 and for normal, you can go for like 380 or 400. I know it's a little bit hard, but if you want to build a resistance team, you can go with resistance banner, resistance chest, and resistance mastery. Like with these three three things combined, you should be able to get like 250 uh, resistance already. So I think for normal or hard, it's doable. Stuck to like three uh, 400 resistance is doable if you have the right gear. And for accuracy, I think for brutal, you only need 300 accuracy. And for Nightmare, you need 400 accuracy. That's a very big difference. And for hard or normal, you only need like 200, 250. So accuracy is not that big of a deal, but it's very, very important. You have to stack resistance. 
uh, on this rotation if you want to do well. Let me show you guys uh, some of my champion. I already switched my Duchess gear to Stone Skin as mentioned before. So uh, my CV is just uh, whatever, no resistance at all. This is an arena build. And for my Krisk, uh, I, I think Krisk, uh, if you want to use Krisk in Hydra, I think uh, Frenzy set is actually super good, all right? Because Krisk can heal himself a lot. So when he's go to max HP, then he take a lot of damage and his HP drop and he gets turn meter boost so and he, then he heals back again right so I think frenzy set for Chris in Hydra is like amazing all right so I do have a lot of good frenzy set because I farm fire knight a lot for mastery just go with um go with a uh, wall master of course as you guys can see this is uh I use this one for um brutal so 500 resistance and 300 accuracy. If you want to use the uh, Chris for Nightmare, it's gonna be 500 resistance and 400 accuracy. F oh, for this Chris, it's not really geared because I like champion lock out for Hydra. I think it's completely stupid. All right, like for a whale, there is just zero point. Like people just remove the gear from one Chris and put to another. Like what's the fucking point of doing a champion lockout, right? And then uh, for this Venus, I think this Venus is for uh, Brutal, like high resistance and high accuracy. Like this one is for Nightmare, high resistance, high accuracy. So, who else do, uh, who else? Like, oh, okay. So, 200 rack, right? Like mentioned before, I just got my second 200 rack uh, a day ago. All right, this one is for Brutal, high resistance, high accuracy. This one is for, uh, all right, this one is for Brutal. This one is for Nightmare. And I, I think if you gear one of your champion on your six-man team in a, um, in a Guardian set, I think it's very good because basically everyone just takes 10% less damage. And 200 rock, like this 200 rock is not going to die, all right? She's going to heal back for sure. And sh uh, she and Krisk can basically sustain your entire team. And for Royal Guard and and um, Geomancer, there's no difference. The gear is com completely the same compared to last rotation. It's just um, just just build some accuracy on Geomancer. Don't worry about resistance. And for Royal Guard, what you need to do is um is put like HP chestplate. Like HP is so much better compared to defense if you want to use them in Hydra. And yeah, that's basically it. Um, I think the rotation like. How you how you manual the fight? I think it's pretty much the same compared to the last rotation. Like one thing I discovered is um, if you use two hundred rack, right? Let me just give you a quick quick example here. If you use two hundred rack, shit. All right, let me quit right, right away. I don't wanna waste my key here. <laughs> All right. Uh, so. How I use 200 rack is um if it's last rotation you usually use 200 racks A1 which is a decrease speed on the on this head head of decay right and if head of decay um gets decrease speed you can put block debuff first to block the the poison cloud right so you don't have to deal poison cloud for two turns but the way I do it this rotation is I put decrease speed I put single target decrease speed on head of blight so um. So like, uh, Head of Decay is going to cleanse everybody after I finish the nuke, right? And I'm actually managing to get two turns. Uh, oh shit, before Head of Blight takes one turn, you guys see the point? I'm able to get two turns. So I'm still able to put out blo AOE block buff after I finished my nuke. So that's one, uh, one interesting strategy I use for this rotation and yeah i guess that's about it now let me just show you guys uh, a clip of me doing the the brutal hydra all right
Alright guys, that's about it for this one. Hope this video can help you guys a little bit to do Hydra rotation number four. Actually, one funny story uh, is um, I received a lot of copyright claim from my previous video from a long time ago. It, it was uh, they're about like music copyright stuff. So I guess going forward, I'll just not to put any music on my video. That's a sad story. But anyways, uh, that's about it for this one, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.